everyone welcome back to my channel thank you for being so consistent i think you already know i am on banana island i am at the dayton guest house Welcome. and we're on our way to the check-in point i hope you watched my last video it was the trip from uh, freetown to banana island kent where we got on the boat and then we came to banana island the link is in the description box so you can watch it to understand this particular video more and this place is gorgeous effortlessly gorgeous god is a miracle working god <laughs> Okay, so this is the manager. Can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Sharif Langura. I'm the manager for Dalton Banana Guest House. So you're welcome. Thank you. The Great Banana Island. <laughs> uh, is this your first time of coming to the island? Yes. All right, I will tell you a few things about the island, and tomorrow morning we can both make plans together. Okay. In the island, we have two villages in the island. Where we are is called Dublin. Dublin. Dublin village, yes. And it's about seven miles from here you will meet the next village which is Rickett. the island is not too broad but it's long before the slave time we used to have three separate islands but uh, during the slave time they found it difficult to go to the next village which is Rickett. it's just a small community they decided to bank the water with empty stone without cement and they succeeded in creating a bridge that we call slavery bridge and that will take you about uh, one and a half one hour to go to the bridge and for the history site of the island the activities that was done by the slave people some you can still see some some are no more because uh, we the human we destroy them like the water well that was dug by the slave people for so many years it happens to be now the main source of drinking water for the community you can still see it so the would lamp. that be would that be a part of the historical tour of course yes okay. for the his historical tour that is to see the history site mm -hmm. and it's all around the village it's about uh, 30 35 minutes to cover everything there we are two friends operating on this camp dublin and later they split and mr ricketts went and formed his own camp that he names it ricketts those ones were white people yeah of course white yeah mm -hmm. and uh, there is a high hill that we call simpson on top of that hill there is a flag up till now it's a portuguese flag it's right on top of the hill it's still there so manager can you tell us about that one guest house the check-in and the prices and some of the activities yes uh, this is our flyers and uh, the check-in i have uh, various room prices i have uh, 1200 leon per night for two people so we have a, a budget room which is uh, it uses outside toilets it's a uh, 800 leon for two people for it's it's inclusive of dinner and breakfast and uh, both transport fare is uh, 600 to and fro for a group up to four people that is from one person to four will pay 300 leon one way 300 leon the other way so the nine seventy million uh, room does it have a bad room no no yeah, the 970 has a bathroom, it's a standard room, yes. Okay. We yeah. paid 500 million as a deposit price. So now we're, are we supposed to pay the rest of the money? Or is it tomorrow when we're checking out? Yeah, the check-in process is after. The reason why we are asking to make a deposit is to confirm that you are coming because of also the demand for the rooms, especially weekends. Of course, the last time we spoke, I told you week Saturday I'm, to, I'm fully booked. So because of the the demand for the rooms, you have to make a, a booking at least uh, three days ahead of your coming, three days ahead of your coming, okay. and you need to make a deposit. Hello guys, welcome to our 970 million room at Dayton Guest House on Banana Island. This room um, is a standard room. It has a bed, and a bathroom and one thing i like about this room is the art that's on the wall even though i don't understand much but i know that it looks really really gorgeous and we have something here to hang our clothes clothes rack and see on this bed so what the mosquito night like, they have they're using reefs so what the mosquito net i've never seen this particular method before i'm not a big fan of mosquito nets <laughs> Because I feel like they, they keep you confined, but we'll see tonight. And this is the bathroom. We have a little mirror. 
We have the bathroom and this is the shower head. <laughs> and we have a commode and place to wash our hands. Is this working? Yes, it is working. There's water flowing. We have um, two arts right here on the wall. They're beautiful as well. And I want to try the bed. So they have cement here <laughs> as the bed. So um, I'm not a fan of cement at all as a bed. It looks like a grave. So I'm really not a fan. I visited this um, place in Liberia, um, Grand Cape Mark County, and I wanted to stay at this guest house. And they have cement, so I didn't. <laughs> I ended up camping. But I am stuck here, so here's what it is. This mosquito night is hot. Okay. Let's see how the bed is. Okay. This is comfortable. Mm. So besides the cement that I hit, the bed is nice. And we have somewhere to put our bags. You can see our bags there already. So yeah. The next time you see me, I'm going to be on the beach in a yellow dress having a fun time. Hey guys, so um this is my yellow dress. I look gorgeous. <laughs> Anyways, um I ordered bread and omelette because I'm hungry and I'm waiting for a Sufi. Sufi is not here yet. She's doing something. She's doing her historical tour. So um, I'm eating something before dinner. Uh, before visiting Banana Island, we reached out to Dalton Guest House to get the food prices because, you know, we're, we're on a budget or we are on a budget. So they told us 35 USD for two persons. I got couscous with grilled fish and Sufika got fried rice with grilled fish as well. It tasted really, really good. The first time I was in Sierra Leone, I didn't have a good experience with the food. But this experience, I can tell anybody, the food in Sierra Leone is delicious. It depends where you're going to eat. But, <laughs> oh my God, I enjoy this couscous and the grilled fish. Oh, please. <laughs> It was really, really good. So after lunch with Sufika, we decided to have some fun, dance to some Liberian music. Even though I muted the music, but yeah, you can see I was listening to Bebe by MC Caro. Um, she's a really nice Liberian musician. Check her out. Um, and we had a really, really great time. Tell so my earrings dropped and oh. Morning, good morning. How was your night? Well, mine was really, really great. I'm wearing my yellow dress again this morning because I could not take pictures yesterday and you know I love some good pictures. So we're having breakfast this morning. We ordered um, omelette, it came with bread and cheese. This is what we're having for breakfast this morning and after um, breakfast we're gonna have some time to take pictures. So the, we're leaving on the first boat because we have other content to create in free time. The first boat is gonna leave at 10. What time is it now? It's 8.15. No, the first one is going to leave at 9. And it's 8.15 right now. So we need to eat as quickly as possible and start taking pictures. <laughs> yeah, so um, the night spent at this place was calm. I sit the area when I was doing a tour of the room that I hate mosquito nets. And one of the reasons is because they burn a lot. I don't know what causes that. But from last night to this morning, the mosquito net has been burning my face. So right now my face is not okay, but I'm just, you know, trying to be fine and still have a good time. But the bed was comfortable. Um, they had mosquitoes, hence the whole um, mosquito net in the first place, but I didn't use the net because I hate it. <laughs> so next time I would recommend to just use mosquito spray instead of mosquito net because it burns the face, or at least my face. Sophie slept on her and it didn't burn her face, so. Thank you so much for watching this video thank you for being so consistent if you're new don't forget to hit the subscribe button and tap the notifications bell 
My experience here at the Dayton Guest House on Banana Island was a good one. I enjoyed the food, I enjoyed the services, I enjoyed the amenities, excluding the mosquito net. <laughs> and I had a good time. The cost um, for the boat transfer for two persons, the night, breakfast for two, dinner for two, that um, cost 125 United States dollars. I am glad that I was able to visit Sierra Leone and showcase this very, very beautiful part of Sierra Leone. If you're ever here, don't forget to visit. Have yourself a good day and thank you for watching. Sweet Salon, adeo. <laughs>